Okay, this is the coolest day ever. <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Brooke and today we are going to Cape Cod. I just flew to Boston, landed, got off the plane, and I was greeted with the keys to a Lexus vehicle. I am here, I'm going glamping with Lexus. I am going to be joined by my best friend from college, Mariah. Look at this, they put our names on here. They spelled her name with a K, I don't exactly know why, but so we are taking the Lexus LX car today, which I'll have to give you a- Sorry, the network is currently busy. Whoops. Anyways, we're in the Lexus car. This thing is so nice. Now we are going to drive to Cape Cod. So Mariah's flight actually got canceled, then she got rebooked on another one. So she's not getting here till this evening and it's like noon. So I was like, okay, I could either wait at the airport all day or I could drive to the Cape and like kind of get the day going. And she was like, go, because there's actually like activities and stuff that she might be missing depending on what time she gets here. So like she doesn't land until six. So she'll just Uber and meet me. We actually planned like our flights to get here technically at the same time, but it didn't work out that way. Traveling right now, I've heard there's a lot of problems. Give yourself extra time and grace and everything. But I am just so thankful to be here. I am going to futz around with the car first before I drive because I, I like to take a second to get everything set up. I'm not one to just like race out. I am so excited. What a great day. If you didn't know, I actually lived in Boston three years ago, which it's like weird to even say that now. Like it feels like truly another lifetime ago, but now I'm having all of these flashbacks. Like when I was in the terminal, I remember like the flight I went on right when I quit my job and like what I did there and like now leaving here I know I'm gonna be on the roads that I used to live on. We'll see if I can show you guys. This is crazy. I took a few wrong turns, but we're good. I'm stopped in a light right now. Um, about to get back on the highway. I ended up not even going through like the old part of Boston where I lived in because we just took the highway, but I used to live in Cambridge in like nor East Cambridge, I think that's what it was called. We're on our way. I've actually never been to Cape Cod, so I'm very excited about this. I finally found a place. This is Mary Lou's. I've heard, I think Gretchen talk about this. And let's get a coffee to drive through. This is great. Oh my God, guys, look at all the flavors. So many. Can I please get the a medium iced coffee uh, with the snickerdoodle flavor? A little bit of almond milk. Okay, that was like too many options. I hope I got the right thing, but I've heard, I feel like I remember this place. I feel like Gretchen posted about this place. Okay, the review, it just kind of tastes like iced coffee. Like I really don't taste the flavor. It's not very sweet. It's kind of just tastes like iced coffee with almond milk, but. I needed something for the drive. I didn't have any caffeine today. Okay, we have arrived, people. So we're actually glamping. We're staying at the auto camp in Cape Cod and we're staying in an Airstream, which I've never done anything like this before, so I'm very excited. I just parked my car. I don't even know if I can check in yet. I think I have like another hour, but if not, I'll go like grab lunch or something because all I got was coffee. I didn't get any food. But this is the car that I was just driving. It is the Lexus LX. I'm like trying to zoom out. It is a big boy, but the safety features are so good. Like. First time driving, I got a little close to some other cars maybe. That might be a problem that I have, but it would literally beep and like do a bajillion things and like notify me. So, so good. So I really enjoyed it. And it's really high off the ground. It reminds me of like my parents' cars. I didn't even go in the back seat yet, obviously. Oh, look at this. Can't miss features. I totally didn't even see this. Yeah, the safety stuff is really, really good. And I love this interior, the red. It's so sick. I have all my stuff in the back, but I'm gonna just lock up and go try to check in and we'll see like what's happening. So we are in the Airstream and I figured I would give you guys an Airstream tour. I've never stayed in or even been in one of these. We have the AC pumping, so don't mind that. This is what we have. There's a little picnic area outside. It's very cute. And then we have our own like little fire pit. This is what it is. So this is like the living room slash like kitchen, whatever. We're gonna be really on the go, so like the really, all we'll really be doing is sleeping here because it's like really, it's two nights, but like one full day of like activities. This is the little kitchen nook, so cute. They gave us a s'mores kit, which we'll definitely be diving into. What is this? Like some tools, coffee, tea, etc. I don't even know what all of this is. Like what? Oh, just towels. I think that's some robes. Oh, here there is a microwave and mini fridge. Nice, there we go. Beautiful private door to the bedroom. We're gonna be really cozy, Mariah and I. This is the bedroom. The AC is pumping because it would be so hot because there's so many windows. Nice little TV, very cozy. And then straight ahead, the other way is the bathroom and there is a full bathroom, like full shower and everything, which I wasn't sure about that. I was like, oh gosh, what's the shower situation? But we have our own, really, really nice. It reminds me kind of of being on a boat. And that is the Airstream tour. 
I am going to bring my bag in and then literally go right back out to my car and go grab a snack or something because we don't have dinner for like three more hours or so. And I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity to go out and grab something in the area. Welcome to Cape Cod. We're staying in Falmouth, by the way. And this is the auto camp. Well, okay, I'm running late as per usual. Fit check. Um, this is from Sabo Skirt. I really like it. It's like this flowy white number, and then I'm wearing these chunky heels that are from Free People. I'm gonna use this Prada bag. Um, I feel like I need to spray with bugs very quickly outside before we go. And that's the look. I just touched on my makeup a little bit, but I'm going for natural because it's like sweaty and hot outside. Um, and I'm excited to go get dinner. Mariah's still not here, but we're gonna make it work. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and look who's here. Hi. Hi. Mariah finally made it. It was a journey, but she is alive and here and well. She's here. We are getting ready for the day. We're gonna go grab breakfast, I think, first, and then I guess we could come back because we're gonna put our stuff down bike. to bike. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Mariah got in late last night, um, and we just like chatted and hung out, and then we woke up today. We actually slept so good. It got a little bright in there, but it's mm -hmm. really good to be on that. And now we're gonna go to breakfast and have a fun day. We're both in like literally the same thing, basically, <laughs> just <laughs> work outfits. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun day. We're driving through the town. Mariah is driving now because she hasn't driven yet and she's not used to this big of a car. It's very funny, but there's so many safety features that it's like really like letting you know where to go. It's very cute. No eyes off the road. No, no. So we're staying in like Falmouth, which is the part of the Cape that we're on. They said that Cape Cod's really big. It's like 60 miles or something, which I did well, not know. All the way up that little curve, right? Yeah. Now, I guess this is like the main street area. We're going to this pastry place that a lot of you guys suggested. I just want a coffee mostly. We were just reading some details of this car. Because I think that we all got different. I was talking to some people that are also doing this, like on the trip that at dinner last night, and I think we all got In different. In one thousand feet, oh, your destination will be on the right. Oh my this god, this is, is really cute. cute. Yeah, yeah. Cute little shops and things. This reminds me of the Hamptons, actually. I like this road. Pickle jar kitchen. That's you cute. Park here? Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, VIP parking. And look at the parking assist. This is so good. It's actually really cool. Yeah. All right, we got a lot of pastries. This is a pastry all, and then I got iced coffee with almond milk and vanilla. Mariah got oat milk and lavender. I got a quiche. We got some croissants, a cookie. <laughs> really just got so much I'll stuff. Put cookie back in here to hold oh, nice job. Beautiful. And now we're just eating in this beautiful park. Okay, we just decided impulsively that we're gonna go to this lighthouse, which we thought was like in the town. The lighthouse that's on the bag of the Cape Cod chips. And we're like, we don't have anything else to do today, so I guess we'll just go there. Very <laughs> exciting. exciting. This town is very cute. It's like smallish though. It's really only like one block of things. So yeah. maybe over here they'll have more. They have to, right? Yeah. This is like the main point of Cape Cod. Yeah, yeah. It's actually good because then we get to see a little bit more of it too. Because neither of us have ever been to Cape Cod. We're like, should we go back and change? We're like, I guess we'll just stay in what we're in. <laughs> Everyone seems to be in like athleisure here. It feels like that's kind of the, like very casual. We're just barreling down the road in this vehicle. <laughs> it's massive. It's, it's huge. It's the biggest car I've ever driven. Really? Yeah. There's not even a third row. Oh, no, there is. It has like CarPlay and everything built in. We just switched the mode to Eco, so we'll see how that drives. We they got- still use plastic straws though. I know, so they gave us these cans of water because they don't do bottles here. It definitely does look like you're drinking a beer, like 100%. no doubt. Thank, Thank you, you for being such a good driver, Mariah. Uh, we both said we didn't mind driving, but Mariah in college and everything was always the driver, so this is like, <laughs> she's killing it. Oh my gosh, the car's a little different, but it's yeah. awesome to drive. Yeah, so. it's really nice. It's fully loaded up. It's oh. so sick. And I, we have so many different modes. Maybe when we get closer, we could like switch into just sport mode or something. Test it out. Yeah. And we got McDonald's iced coffees for the road and water because it's about an hour drive, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's a plane or a helicopter. Very cool. Mariah's doing great driving for us. I feel like I'm filming a documentary. <laughs> a day in life is a plus one. <laughs> We're pretty far into the drive. I see why it t it's taking us so long because it's like these roads you can't like just can't zoom on. Anybody. Yeah, yeah. All right, we just drove all the way out here, and now we're like, uh, we see it, and now we're like in line to park, I guess. And it looks nice. That's cool. It looks nice. It looks nice. We're in like hiking clothes, and we just walked the beach, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> we parked. We had to pay to park at this lighthouse, but it's like the lighthouse and the beach, so you get to see the beach too. It's like 92 degrees. We're just out here. 
All right, here is the lighthouse. It's a lot smaller actually than you would think. It, like you think it's like this big grand thing. It's only like a few stories tall. I feel like I've never seen the house behind it there. Either. Yeah. Here we are at the lighthouse and Brian's walking all around. I've seen what I needed to see. We walked all up here. I'm actually happy to wear the shoes now. Now that we're like walking in the and stuff. This would be not good for flip flops. Yeah. All right, we're at this place, Kobe's now. We drove and we're gonna go get lobster rolls and ice cream. Yay! Yeah. Hot lobster rolls, sweet potato fries, and I guess they gave you chips with it, which yeah. I didn't know, but that's fun. Yeah. Happy. All right, now we're going to get ice cream. Wow, this whole vlog is just eating and driving. It literally is an eating and driving vlog in Cape Cod, but that's pretty much what we do. They gave us the whole day free to like kind of explore and like do as we wish. So, <laughs> but this is what we wish. They gave it to you like that? Did you ask for it in a cup? Or I in a actually cone? did ask for it in a cup, and they gave it to me in a cone, so I turned the cone upside down. And yeah, in a cup. local ice cream. So we shall. <laughs> so much cookie dough. Okay, I have you guys in the ledge in the bathroom. We've had such a fun day. I feel like I need to catch you guys up because we like ran all around. Ryan ended up getting ice cream. We like got to the ice cream place. My stomach started hurting. I was like, I can't. Okay, so then I didn't. But we had like that leftover cookie from this morning from the pastry place that I just got into. And now we're getting ready for dinner. We have about like 45 minutes before dinner. I just used this foundation that I need to put you guys on. The Kosas foundation. It's so good. It makes your skin look so glowy and hydrated i think i have to blend down my neck but i feel like it just does such a good job of like your skin still looks like skin but it actually has good coverage just the combination of the kosas concealer and kosas foundation is chef's kiss rise outside for a sec it's starting to cool down which is nice we've just had a lovely day like i feel like i haven't filmed a ton a ton because we're honestly mostly catching up it's been such a long time since we've like gotten to like really just us to sit and chat and catch up I guess for my birthday we kind of did that but it was also like a chaotic week because it was like my birthday and you know a lot of people were in town whatever so just having great quality time with your best friend is really just so special and i really cherish it so much and we had so much material we purposely do this thing where we like save stories and like things to tell each other and it's been so great rare beauty blush dinner is in the same place as last night just like in the inside i'll bring you guys along and i don't know what it is but then i know we're doing s'mores tonight and it's been really nice like the really the two things on the agenda like with the group were the two dinners the two nights of dinner and then everything else is kind of like at do whatever you want so today we were like should we hike or bike like that was kind of the plan but then we ended up just going to that lighthouse and kind of walking around a few towns getting some food just spending time together honestly driving the car because that car is so freaking nice i'm gonna keep getting ready i'll show you guys my outfit i think i might straighten my hair it's tough because it's like really humid here and i didn't really plan for that and I don't really want to wear my hair up, so stay tuned on that. At least I'll make my makeup look good, okay? <laughs> I'm wearing this really cute set right now from Free People. It's giving Coastal Grandmother in the best possible way, like very rich, very luxe vibes. Like the top and the pants came together and it's just adorable. I will have to link it down below for you guys. I'm wearing a size large. I could have done a medium, but then I feel like it wouldn't be quite as oversized and I like it being like, I, I would, I, I'm happy with this size choice, even though it is like loose, but it's like kind of suggestive. <laughs> I hate myself. I need to go get ready. Mariah looks snatched in her Reformation dress. I'm like, who are the you documentary. Doing? Mariah's gonna film my outfit for me, a little OOTN. Okay. What you got? The dress is Reformation. I bought it when I was in the Hamptons. I'm horny and I figured tonight would be the perfect night for it. Yeah. I brought a sweater because last night it got a little chilly when you're we like outside, you know, so I figured outside later because I'm hot right now but I know that later. Hermes sandals and my Prada bag that I took a long shot off of. There is a bunny under there. Bama Rush vibes right now. Yeah. Necklace, Kendra Scott, <laughs> earrings, Amazon. Shein skirt. Shein, Shein, Shein. <laughs> Flip up screen. Hi. And Mariah's dress is Reformation. Shoes Reformation. Our Birkenstocks. Bag. Pauline. You found, did you get an Instagram ad I for think it? it's French. I might have found it on TikTok, but it was like in somebody's Christmas haul. Oh. Golden hour, we're gonna go head up a few minutes early to snag maybe a photo or two. I'm also like ready. If they have a charcuterie board again, like Wait. some light apps. We're doing s'mores here later. How cute is this? Look how cute the little common area is. And then they have like board games and everything too. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Do you do yoga tomorrow morning? Not really. Nice and peaceful. Yeah. I would go for like a morning walk. That would be lovely. <laughs> completely is destroyed already but that's okay I'm cozy got the sweater on just eating some cheese
mesmerized, cozy in bed. <laughs> Good night. Actually, this bed is so freaking comfortable. Last night, what? The way you're rubbing it. Yeah, just waiting for you. It's <laughs> chilly in here. Want to cuddle? Oh no. <laughs> it was a great night of sleep. I have to say, we closed all the shades. It got a little bright in here, but it was pretty good. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> I have my pimple patches on. We had a lovely night. I smell a campfire now, but there's nothing I can do about it. Our hair rings. Yes, it's bad. And we're gonna try to get up like on the earlier side tomorrow because that's our last day. So hopefully we can like get out and up and out and do a few things. See you tomorrow. Closing up shop. Packing up for today's outfit. I'm gonna change in the car for the airport when we go home today. So I'm just wearing this like crop tank top shorts, and then I threw on this like little pullover on top for three people. Getting these bags up the hill is gonna be the real ultimate struggle. <laughs> we'll make it work. I like your fit today, Mariah. They're both seductive. Cute. Know what it is, but I really like the material. I like it. Okay, good morning. We're going to this place called Coffee Obsession. A lot of the places are closed today, assuming. Here it says a lot of the places are closed like Tuesday, Wednesday. Interesting. I guess that's like kind of a common thing, like fresh ons and stuff. They're a lot, they're closed during the week. Yeah. Like all week, it's kind of weird. Yeah. It seems like it's very much so a vacation town, but we are checking out. Um, Mariah's our very skilled driver today. <laughs> We're gonna go to breakfast. Our flights aren't until we like purposely made them around the same time. So Mariah's is at four, mine's at three. So we have a lot of the day still. We still need to get back to Boston and everything, but um, we have, we have a good amount of day. Mm -hmm. Still hang out, so that's that. Driving through the town, this is like the, uh, that can't be the ocean. It's a pond, it's a pond. Oh. <laughs> it's like, it's too still, right? My hair is so messed up because it's so windy. Oh my goodness, we just went to pie in the sky. It was delicious. I always think you're talking to me every time. <laughs> you're like, what was that now? <laughs> I'm announcing what we just did to you, even though you just lived it. We're right by the ferry to Martha's Vineyard and I think Nantucket, but we found this part of town that we did not see yesterday. Is it Woods Hole? Maybe. That's the Woods Hole Inn, so I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? I got a shirt on the way back to the car. All right, Mariah's in the bathroom. We are here at this like gas station. Well, not like a gas station. We just had to add a little bit more gas. This car takes premium, which is premium. I think we're across from a cranberry farm. This is cranberry products. We're like, we took a side detour off of the highway and we are in like rural Massachusetts now. We have about an hour before we need to get to the airport. So just soaking up every minute with this car. It's been lovely. I cannot stress that enough. Like, this is such a nice car. Welcome back, sister. So much better. <laughs> there was a guy who pulled up next to me, and I was like, oh, God. Like, I thought he, like, like lurked around the car to, like, say something. He was like, it's the Lexus from Texas, because I had the license plates Texas. <laughs> like, I got in the car after, and he was like, sorry, I just had to say something. He was being nice. I was like, That's sweet. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like we're, at, like, we're actually, like, we're not from Texas. We're just borrowing this car, like, whatever. Else. It's very nice, though. Lexus from Texas from Texas. I think the Lexus is based in Texas from based on what the brand people told us. So they said the Dallas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big Texas company. Landed back in New York. The new Delta terminal at the LaGuardia Airport is insane. So nice. I'm home. I very quickly devoured Chick Fil A for dinner. I got grilled nuggets, fries, and a diet lemonade. I just got hit with the biggest wave of tiredness. It's just like hitting me that I'm back and I'm about to go on like another trip on Thursday. I just I'm so grateful for all the opportunities, and I really set myself up for a lot of travel this summer. But I need like days to just sit around, and like catch up on just like computer work and stuff. I was like furiously working in the Delta Lounge, and I was like, I just want to be like in my apartment, cozied up, just for like a few days. But I guess that will come next week. It's okay. I recognize how lucky I am, so I don't even want to be like, I'm not even complaining. I'm just like, okay, it's only one day to get everything back together. I have to like do laundry and everything. We'll go to Nantucket and it will all be good because that's what the next trip is. I know people are probably like, why didn't you just stay up there? I totally could have, but I was just like, I would rather come back for a day. The flight's only an hour. It's so quick and efficient. I would have had to pay for two days in a hotel up there, which I just really didn't feel like doing. I really have no reason to be in Boston or up there for more time and like alone time. There's just no reason. So I'd rather just come back here for two days and we have to record podcast stuff tomorrow. So I needed to come back. Anyways, I think I have a ton of packages here now. So 
let's see. Hey guys, so in my stressed out state yesterday, I decided to push back my flight to Nantucket until Friday. I was just so tired yesterday, I didn't really get much stuff done. I was like, I, I don't have time to like do all the laundry, repack and whatever, and we have to get a lot of work done today for the podcast. So I'm gonna head to Nantucket now on Friday instead, which will give me a little bit more time just to get things together here so that I can go and really enjoy that trip and be relaxed. I posted a Q&A today and it seems like that's going over really well if you haven't already watched that. I feel like that gave a lot of other just like comprehensive life updates in terms of like moving and things like that. It's currently like 7.20. I woke up pretty early today. I'm just sitting here in this comfy set. It's actually from Victoria's Secret Pink. Very cute. New episode of the podcast went up so I'm going to work on that and stuff. I really didn't want the vlog to carry over into today. I just wanted to give you guys the updates and say that we are feeling a lot more at peace. Just not being like super, super frantic and rushed because there's just a lot of stuff I want to get done today and tomorrow now too. I love you guys also so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Cape Cod vlog and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.